Welcome back, ladies and germs. This is Mr. O here with another episode of Walk Me Through. We're going to continue the walkthrough for The Legend of Zelda, The Ocarina of Time. And as you can see, we've gotten back to being Adult Link, and we're going to warp back on to the Desert Colossus and continue on with the Spirit Temple. So without further ado... We're going to head back to the Desert Colossus and we'll continue exploring the Spirit Temple and what we're going to do is rescue Noboru from those two witches. So let's get going. So enjoy the video. Here we go. And with that intro out of the way, let's go to the Spirit Temple. Ow. If we can do this without getting attacked by a bunch of levers, that would be great. Ow! If I can do this without getting my ass handed to me, that would be fine. Oh, before I go into the Spirit Temple, I want to show you something over here. As you can see, there's an oasis, but, but it's all dried up. But, oh. Actually, let's go to our equipment. Our silver gauntlets have already been equipped. And as you can see, we can wear them now. So, but first, let's see what happens when we play the Song of Storms here. Okay, enough with the toilet sounds. Looks like we have a secret fairy font here. So let's catch a, let's catch a fairy and try not to get our asses handed to us so we won't have to come back here. Come here. Okay, enough with the state farm jingle. Actually, I guess while I'm here, I might as well heal up. Oh, it's nighttime. Let's fix that right now. <laughs> Oops. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just defeated a lever. Right, let's go into the spirit temple. We wasted enough time. I can do this without getting attacked by a bunch of levers. That would be fine. Here we go. I'm about to whip somebody's ass. Oh, I'm about to whip somebody's ass. Oh, if you don't leave me alone, you're gonna have to send me home. Cause I'm about to whip somebody's ass. Well, that diddy's starting to grow on me. Ooh, a little bit of magic will help, too. Mine. My wallet wasn't so full, that would be great. I guess we can equip the hook shot for now. Never know when we'll need it. So, now, this is exactly what is meant by 
coming. Oh! One thing to note is that these Armos guys can be easily defeated with the sword. But once they're gravely injured, they'll chase after you and explode. Ooh, bombs. So, now that we've got the silver gauntlets, we can actually move farther into the spirit temple. And believe me, we're going to need to do that if we're going to get to the main hall. So, we gotta... Oh, I forgot about that Demos. Let's equip the bomb real quick and we'll get rid of it. There's a little smoke in your eye, you one-eyed freak of nature. You know, it's interesting how they explode like that. I'm guessing that they're made of gunpowder. So if we hit this crystal switch here with the hook shot, I mean long shot, yeah, that's why I, I, I can't talk. That's why I put the long shot. Oh, it's a wolfos. Just great. Just what I don't need. Take that, you wolfos. Now, if we mosey on over here, we can play Zelda's Lullaby and see what happens. And a chest appears. So we can grapple on over to the chest and see what we get inside. Let's see, it's something quite interesting in here. We get the compass! Hooray! So now we can find out where there are other chests and eventually the boss's lair, which are the two witches. Believe me, we, we're going to need to fight those witches in order to save Noboru. So in this place, this kind of reminds me of one of the puzzles from Dragon's Lair. Like I said, this kind of reminds me of the puzzle from Dragon's Lair for some reason. Um, for those of you who don't know, Dragon's Lair was actually a, a video-based QTE type game that was released on a Laserdisc-based arcade machine back in the 80s. And it was animated by Don Bluth. Why this, I don't know why this. Yeah, I don't know why it brought. Uh, yeah. Oh, there is a Skulltula here. Let's get it. So now we got a token because we killed a gold Skulltula. We're gonna climb back up there and we're gonna try to get that last silver rupee in order to unlock that door up ahead. Well, behind me actually. But to do that. We'll need to put on our hover boots. I don't think I'll be wearing those hover boots for the rest of the dungeon. But anyway, we got the door unlocked, so we can mosey on ahead. If we can not get hit by those boulders, that would be great. Now there is a chest here. Oh no! <laughs> I forgot about... Oh, you got the key anyway. Oh no, I forgot about this guy. Oh! Oh no! Do not let this guy try to eat you. He will steal. Oh shit! Oh great! I'm practically naked without my blue tunic. Let's kill this guy and get our gear back. And I gotta stop with the Friday references. We get our shield back and we get our tunic back. Yeah. Like I said, this guy will eat your tunic. If you don't kill him straight away, you'll lose your gear. Oops, did not mean to do that. 
change our tunic. <laughs> Let us mosey on into this place here. Now, oh shit. No, not another one. Ow. Oh, stay well enough away from him when he does that. Uh-oh. Guess I showed that slimy petticoat his boss. I think there's a Skullchula, a gold Skullchula up there too. I could be wrong. Hmm. I could have sworn there was a gold Skullchula up there. Oh wait, that was when I was in the child portion of this dungeon. And young Link's portion of the dungeon. Oh boy. This is gonna... Oh. There's an invisible floor master here. Ow! This would be a good place to have the eye of truth. I mean, lens of truth. If that thing grabs onto you, you're gonna be in for a world of hurt, and it will yeah, and that floor master will regenerate. The little ones will regenerate into a new floor master after it grabs a hold of you. So you want to be quick in defeating these floor masters. Because like I said, these guys have been said to regenerate after they splintered apart. Oh. Oh no! A floor, a wall master's coming. You already know the story. If a wall master grabs a hold of you, you'll be taken back to the entrance and you'll lose a heart. Uh oh. Forgot about this guy. Now, wasn't there a switch down here? And why the hell did I come down here? Well, as long as I'm down here, I guess it would be a good time to show you how to get back up. Oh, you know what? We sh I should have kept my iron... Yeah, I should have kept my hover boots on. Right. Now, to unlock this door over here, we're going to need a key. We're also going to need to try to get across that gap. This is This is the main reason why we kept our hover boots on. Oh, this switch is rusted. So we're going to need our megaton hammer. In case you forgot, the megaton hammer is so heavy, you won't be able to use your shield if you have it unsheathed. So we got that other door unlocked, the door in the middle room. We got that door in the middle unlocked, but we still need the key. To get the key though, we're going to have to play Zelda's lullaby on the Colossus's left hand. And a chest appears on the Colossus right hand. <laughs> so let's Switch on over to the claw shot. I mean, long shot. I keep. Why do I keep calling it a claw shot? I'm not playing the. Uh... Okay. I'm not playing Twilight Princess or. Yeah. And we get the key. But before we move on any farther, what we're going to do. Oh, shit. Not fall down there. Because. Remember how Navi flew over there while we were young Link? We need the claw shot in order to get over there. So we're going to play the Scarecrow song. And I'm not talking about the Scarecrow from Batman. 
because there is a gold skullchilla over there that needs to be destroyed. Another eight-legged cockroach. Take that, you oversized roach. Oh yeah, squished another roach. Even though I would hardly call a spider a roach. Oh, you know what? As long as we're down here, we might as well go through this door. And open the rest of the way in. Yeah, go... Yeah, just go down this hallway. And we'll create a shortcut back to the entrance, just in case we get a game over, which I sincerely hope that does not happen. But you never know with these Zelda games. I've already gotten a game over in the Shadow Temple. I mean, fighting Bongo Bongo. I mean, that guy totally whooped my ass. And there's another rusty switch, which needs the Megaton Hammer's attention. That will get the elevator going. So now we can... So now that... Now that we got that open, if we ever get a game over, we can get back up here easily. But for now, let's mosey on back this way and head on over to the other door. Moving on. Oh shit, I keep on forgetting I had the Megaton Hammer equipped. So let's re-equip the Claw Shot. Why do I keep calling it a Claw Shot? I'm not playing Twilight Princess. Or Skyward Sword. That's one hell of a game. That was one of my favorites. Anyway, moving on. Let's go through this door. Oh, there's a Beemos here. Oh shit, I forgot about this place. Well, stepping on that switch will turn on the, uh, will turn on that fire beam. If we play the Song of Time here, it'll make the it'll make the block of time appear. I guess dispatching all these guys will unlock the door. I could be wrong though. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Looks like I gotta defeat these guys again. You know, it would help that that I would be wearing my regular shoes. Let's go ahead and switch to switch back to the Kokairi boots again. I gotta be real careful not to fall down there again. I'm running out of ammunition and magic. You will die! Now I just gotta defeat this one-eyed monstrosity over here. You know, what are those Beemoses made of anyway? Are they made of like gunpowder? Now there is a locked door right there, which we cannot open just yet. So we have to go through the left here. But before we do that, let's let's try playing the Song of Time. Right. Move slowly here. No. Oh, never mind. Let's just go. Oh shit! We gotta get all these Armoses to try to attack us for some reason, just to get them onto that switch. And we gotta be quick before the door closes on us again. Oh, I actually made it that time. Now, if memory serves me correctly, there are these invisible chests here. Yeah, good thing I found it because we recovered a heart, which is four hit points. Nice. I could have sworn there was a gold skull chilla here. Oh well. Um, 
I think what we're gonna do is equip Nairu's love again because we are going to fight another Iron Knuckle. Right. Let's use Nairu's love and shield ourselves. Otherwise, we'll be in a big world of hurt if this guy were to attack us because he takes lots of our hearts. I guess this would be a good opportunity to show you what would happen if he chops up his own throne. That, just as I thought, coinage appears. Ow! Good thing I had Nairu's love equipped. Ow. Ow. Like I said, Nairu's love really comes in handy. It stops you getting attacked. And it stops you getting hurt real bad from that guy's giant axe. Oh, that was too close. I gotta defeat this guy before before my shield runs out. Push him! And it's a good thing. And it's a good thing I finished him because my shield was about to run out. Ooh, coinage, mine. Right. Moving on. Let us mosey on over here and on to the Colossus' left hand. Because a chest appears here. And what we have to do is open said chest and see what we have inside. And we get the mirror shield. Hooray! Now... In the cartridge that I used to have, there was a moon symbol, which closely resembled a reversed version of, I think it was the symbol of Islam or Judaism, though I could be wrong. I was lucky to have the earlier cartridge, but the music in the Fire Temple was changed already. Well, anyway, now that we've gotten that taken care of, Let's equip the mirror shield because we'll be using it for the rest of the game. I don't think the uh I don't think the like like likes to eat that. But anyway, we use the mirror shield to shine the sunlight onto that sun and get the door open. And in this chest we get the key, of course. Now that we've got the key, we can move on. Moving on. Try to avoid that trap. You want to be very careful here. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Let's get rid of them while we're here. Ow. Ow. Well, that takes care of them. Now, the quickest way up there without, you know, without having to worry about so much about running into that spike trap. Oh, there's a Skullchula there, I think. Is that a gold Skullchula? Oh, that was just a Skullwaltula. Oh, that was just a gold Skullwalt. That was just a regular Skullwaltula. Ugh. Just a minute. A few moments later. Right. Now where was I? Okay. Now we can bypass this puzzle without... with our claw shot and... Let's not worry so much about those demoses and let's move on through this door. Now if we what let's see what happens when we play Zelda's lullaby. That's what happens. We get this door open and we have to defeat these guys. Oh, one of 
those doors. Let's get rid of all these doors. Well, that takes care of that. Let's get rid of these doors here. Let's shoot this thing in the eye. Man, I gotta stop with the Odyssey clips there. Yes, I know. I'm borderline obsessed with one-eyed monsters. Oh, looks like we're going to need the Megaton Hammer here. Oh, why did I do that? Well, anyway. There we go. Let's open this. Yeah, let's open this chest here. And see what we get inside. We get the boss key. We're going to need that boss key to open that boss door. But the one problem we have right now is, where is it? Where the hell is it? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Uh oh. Oh. Now, there is one way to open that door. And that's using the Megaton Hammer or do the spin attack. Or shoot through the bars. Oh, this guy. Forgot about this guy. And there's a bunch of those. I guess we weren't supposed to make that chest appear. Let's see what we have inside here. Ooh. Well, at least we got some more bombs. So. Those are white bubbles. Hate these guys with a vengeance. So what we have to do is move this mirror. Turn this mirror to the right. These guys are invulnerable to your attacks when they're moving about. When they stand still and spin like that, that means they're vulnerable. Now where's that last one? Come here. Come here. Oh, did not mean to do that. Well, it's done so we can defeat it. Nice. So, what we have to do is move this mirror. Oh! Beat this. Yeah, defeat this Liz Alphos. Right, that takes care of that. So now let's move this mirror. Okay. So now we got that sorted out. We can mosey on back this way. Ow. I meant to use my shield. Ow. So if we stand right here, aim our mirror shield over there at the sun, something good is bound to happen. Like this.
Now you see that Colossus? We have to aim the our mirror shield at the face right there and watch what happens. And we got to equip. And we got to like, yeah. So now, that's why we got the boss's key. And I'm going to equip Nairu's love. And you will see why in just a moment. Let's do this. I'm about to whip somebody's ass. Oh, I'm about to whip somebody's ass. Oh, if you don't leave me alone, you're gonna have to send me home. Cause I'm about to whip somebody's ass. Oh, that ditty's really starting to grow on me. Those two witches right there. Oh, these witches. It's another iron knuckle, but there's something really strange about him. Well, strange or not, we're gonna need to use Nairu's love because like before, oh boy, if you get hit with the axe without it, you're gonna be in for a world of hurt. Columns are knocked down. Let's get some extra hearts. Uh -oh. Ow! Ow! This guy's kicking my ass. Even though I'm not losing any hearts. Uh-oh. Ooh, this guy is... Oh no! Finish him! And we saved Naboru! Wow, those witches mean business. So, now we gotta go after those witches and save Naboru. Again.
Okay, Twin Rova. Um, normally... You want to be very quick, and you want to be very careful not to get hit by their elemental attacks. Because let me tell you, it hurts a lot. Ow! Kotake is the Witch of Ice, and Kome is the Sorceress of Flame. What you want to do is not get hit by them, and with your mirror shield, you want to repel their, uh, oh shit. I want to try not to get hit. Yeah, you want to repel it back at the other witch. Fire against ice and ice against fire. Well, I missed, but you get the idea. I'm doing terribly. Like that. I highly suggest you refrain from using L targeting or Z targeting in my case. Well, either way. to me. Let's try this again, and this time, let's see if we cannot get our asses handed to us. Damn, I missed. Uh-oh. Fudge. These witches are something else. Hold still, you, you witches. I'm not as sharp as I used to be as a youngster. Yeah, 
Damn, I missed again. Gotcha! Just a couple more times and we'll have defeated these witches. Uh oh. Gotcha! Okay, on to phase two. I guess if we attack one of either one of them three times. They'll fuse together. And this one looks very similar to Naboru, except you gotta like. Okay, what you wanna do is absorb three of the same element back until the. You'll see what I mean. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Now, you get what I mean? Make sure you have your mirror shield equipped, because you'll definitely need it. Now disengage L targeting and then go up to that platform and let her have it. Attack her bosom and <laughs> yeah, I guess her bosom's her weak spot. But she will later try to outmaneuver you, but by using another, by using the uh, other element instead. Right, now rinse and repeat. Now she will try to outmaneuver you by using fire if she uses ice. Watch her very closely. Looks like those witches are dead. Looks like that one's younger by 20 years. <laughs> I don't know, those guys are I don't know, those two witches are extremely senile. <laughs> They're dead now. Why are they going to heaven? I thought they would be going to hell. Well, anyway, those witches are dead and gone. We get another heart container. So now let's walk into that beam of light and get the hell out of here. But where is Noboru, you say? 
Well, as it turns out, she's actually the Sage of Spirit. Nice. Not only did we save Naboru, but we awoke her, but we have awakened her as a spirit, a Sage of Spirit, I mean. Hey, that kind of looks like the yin and yang symbol a little bit. Anyway, we got the spirit medallion. So? I think she wanted to sleep with me. <laughs> With all that said and done, I think now is the time to stop it here. Oops. In the next video, what we're going to do is... Well, we're going to meet with Sheik at the Temple of Time. And there's going to be lots of other surprises towards the end of this adventure. But until next time, this has been Walk Me Through. I'm Mr. O saying peace, and that's a wrap, and I will see you again next time. Peace! This video's over, but if you enjoyed it, click that like button and give me a comment. And if you wanna see more, click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you'll know when I post more videos. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it really helpful. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. And if you want to see more, go to my channel and look at more videos. But until next time, this is Mr. O saying peace and that's a wrap and I will see you again next time. Peace. Bitch. Shut up! What kind of shit is that?